from a drop down P from This here is a mix of seeds, um, spinach. <laughs> these are from, or these were the pods, from some random beautiful plant we saw. I'm going to try those in the spring. Other than that, I think it's just, well, this baggie. <laughs> Other than that, I think it's just the peas and, and the spinach. And yes, I know I should have cleaned this earlier. Is that what you will, Marie? <laughs> Again! <laughs> So some of them have these bugs in them. I think they're just, oop, okay, bye. The natural progression of some of those little worms you sometimes have in them. Um, I think most of the peas should be okay. I'm just gonna let the bugs leave and then kind of sort out the ones that don't look good at all, but most of them should be okay. Hi, good morning and welcome back to our Portuguese homestead. So it has been really windy this week.
and with the weather being what it was I didn't really feel motivated to go into the garden um, and after a long summer growing season being very busy I'm also just kind of a burned out <laughs> of gardening kind of over it no 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 go away go away go but there are a couple of things that I want to put in so that we have some more food in the spring you saw me work on these peas and then I also have some favas that I saved from last year that are falling out of this thing um, as well as just a new, whole new packet um, and some leftover from peas from last year so I want to put them in um, so that they can start growing and hopefully we'll have lots of favas in the spring and then um, the turnips that I was sowed a while back, they kind of need a thinning and then we shall see how much more I want to do. <laughs> Is it focused? Yeah. Found this big guy. I'm not sure it's, if it's still alive, but it's fairly well camouflaged. So let's see if we can find a chicken. Oh, 
Okay. It always feels a little bit brutal to thin things out, but otherwise they just won't grow properly, so you have to do it. Um, this is all the green that I pulled out, but you can eat all this, at least with the nabo, with the turnips. So tomorrow I'm gonna just uh, saute them with some garlic, I think. The sun is not out today, so I'm a little bit chilly, but working helps. Um, so next up, I want to do the peas. I don't want to do them in the same spot as last year. So I'm kind of now looking around where I want to do them. I think I want to put them in line with uh, the leeks. Let me just turn you around. <laughs> So if you're thinking, wow, this looks a little bit like a mess, um, that's because the chickens found a way in yesterday and they had a little party, a little scratching party. So here, these are the leeks and during summer, this is where we had tomatoes, where we planted some cauliflowers before. Um, but over here, I think there's enough space to do at least a few peas. So that's what I'm going to do now. I also want to note that I could have done this much earlier. Um, because as you can see, this one came up by itself. Just from a drop down pea from last spring. It's already pretty big. So um, yeah, in that sense I'm late. <laughs> This is a hole the dogs dug sometime last year. Here also some peas started growing and we already have our first snap pea. Oops. Okay, bye plants. So this lady keeps getting in. I don't know how. Kst. Kst. Okay, she's out. But I did see her come down this hillside. I'm thinking she found a way in and she keeps remembering. I think should be able to see it. Hey. 
Someone is clearly scratching here. After a brief intermezzo, we're back and I want to do the last few things. I want to plant these. <laughs> they look very sad. I uh, bought them a while back and uh, then forgot about them. Um, this one is a laurel bush and one of you in the comments said that they kind of take over areas so that it's better to grow them in pots so i'm gonna try that um i had a big tub for the basil in the summer with the frost that's obviously dead uh, i did pick and dry uh, most of it but now it can have something else in it so that's that's going in there and then these if they survive are sage um I, I don't really cook with sage. You can make tea with it, which I've never tried, so I might try that. Um, but I did see somewhere that native pollinators like them, so I'm just gonna add them to the garden for that purpose, and they look nice, so why not? Puck is having some bread. Because school makes you hungry. <laughs> okay, and I think um, then after we ha we have fixed, <laughs> and then after we can see if we can fix the fence against the chicken. Goodbye. <laughs> So this had, I planted them in it that I thought had died, but I do see it has like a root um, that's still there. So I'm just gonna mulch it now and see what happens. Not finishing. Uh, I had wanted to plant it in there, but I see that uh, the plant might come back. <coughs> um, I do still have these pots that I didn't move into the greenhouse one time, so I'm just gonna plant them in here. Stop right here. Goed. 
Maar niet met je mouw erin. Met je mouw erin. Give them some water and we say a little prayer that they come back to life. Even though it's not Easter. Mama! Big! Mama! Big! Okay, we put down some rocks right there because that's the area where I saw lots of scratching on the other side of the fence. So my theory is that one day she just accidentally <laughs> flooped in and then she remembered that that's the way in. Um, so hopefully this fixes everything.